Greetings, globelings and flat earthers. Today, we have another special for you. Got the Colt 45. Okay, 8%. I had no idea this beer is 8%. I mean, I remember it when I was a kid. And anyways, let's do it. 710 mils. Really advertising that. We got our little globe. And we got a pointer today. Oh, we're going to have some fun. Okay. Let's... Uh, Put the globe down. Ah. Yeah, this is good. Okay, so what we want to talk about today is uh, well, the sun. Okay, and you know how you see the sun in the sky when you wake up and it starts down here, then it's going like that, noon it's up here, then it goes down, okay? And you would think that that's an arc, right? A nice C-shaped arc that follows this arc on the globe. You see that curve there? So from one terminator to the other. Okay, that's what the globe bottle says. And it would have to be like that because you're on the ball. Okay, you're on the ball and you're rotating. Okay, so from here and you rotate and you're going up and up and up and then you come down. Okay, so that's okay when you're tilted towards the sun, if the sun is here, and then you're coming down, and then by noon, the sun is going to appear higher, okay, by noon. But when you tilt it away from the sun, and the sun is here, okay, Hold on. Yeah, you're coming up on this side now. By the time you get there, it's going to be setting. It's going to look like it's setting because you've raised yourself so high. Okay, so the tilt 100% destroys its, the globe model. The globe model destroys itself. So we covered that in the last video. So in this video, we said that the spinning globe model dictates that you got to do a curve like that. The sun has to do that and that has to be connected. So that has to mean that the tilt, and they said it in the video that I put, the Ted Ed video, like Ted X, Ted Ed. And they said the height of the sun in the sky is 100% connected to the tilt. There's no question about it. So you know that crazy guy I've been talking about? Um, who I debunked with uh, the Equinox and the F over 2 Pi and all that. And now he's, he's trying to fight that. And he's got some help now, this other girl. Uh, all she ever, I think she's a bot, but all she ever says is, oh no, that doesn't make sense. Oh, you're drunk. Or, uh, I don't understand that. That doesn't make sense. That's all she ever says, nothing else. It's ridiculous. So anyways, I should just, the video will be over in a few seconds and then the rest will just be chilling and saying whatever. So all I really want to say is that curve, it's not a curve. Ha! There's no curve. Not only is there's no curve on the globe, it's flat. There's no curve of the sun in the sky either. That's actually like that, like a jet plane flies over. and. It's so easy to prove that. You go to take uh, 
Well, one channel already did it so beautifully, so you don't need to, I mean, you can verify it, but he did it so perfectly. P brain, so P dash B R A N E, P brain, okay? And what you'll see is, if you get any time-lapse footage of the sun that's readily available on YouTube, that if you draw a line as the sun is like moving like this on your screen and going up high, it's a perfectly straight line. And guess what? Time and Date website used to draw that like a pyramid. Okay, and P Brain has it documented in one of his old videos. And they took it down! Now timeanddate.com puts a curve! A freaking curve! That's so wrong! That's a lie! And you can verify this is the easiest way to debunk the globe ever. I thought, you know, maybe the tilt was, but that seems to be too complicated for people. I don't know why. Flat water seems to be too complicated, but this. This is not. You take any footage of the time-lapse sun and you draw the line, and uh, there you have it. It's a straight line. It's the same exact as when a jet plane, you see it's far off in the horizon, it's low, and as it gets to you overhead, it looks like it's going up, increasing altitude, it's not. And then it comes back down again as it gets away from you. Okay, that's exactly what the sun is doing, exactly. So, they have no grounds. It's not a curve, it's a perfectly straight line, and it's always maintaining the same altitude over the plane, just like the plane does. That's why it's called an airplane. Okay, it flies parallel to the plane. Okay, oh, it's that simple. Okay, that's it, the video's done. Okay, so let's chill now. Drink a little beer and see what more we can come up with. Come up with, uh, will bring up some crazy comments. These, these people don't get it. Uh, so, I, uh, I was just visiting with the buddy, the guy who introduced me to the Machinery's Handbook, who drove several hours to actually show me the book physically. So he was in town. And, uh, yeah, okay, that's um, Judgment Canada, okay, and so he's amazing because that book literally changed my life because Earth's not spinning and then I took it to the next level all the way to F over 2 pi. So yeah, that's, you know, worthy of a celebration seeing him again. I haven't seen him in a couple years, so it was good. And uh, yeah, he's still active. He's still uh, on top, knows what things are going. So uh, yeah, that's all it takes. You see, information has to spread. And yeah, this is why I brought him up, because he, back in the day, probably way before I met him online, we actually met because I gave him a reply about the greenhouse religion. He was watching some channel, you know, one of those controlled opposition channels. And uh, I told them, well, you know, this guy, he's on board with the green religion. And, you know, I just kind of spoke really nicely to him. And that was it, he loved it. And we've been friends ever since. And so he phoned, on the phone, Mark Sargent. Okay, he, Mark Sargent, he's an exposed shill. Everybody knows he's controlled opposition. If you don't know, you know now. And um, he phoned him and he told him what he told me about the machinery's handbook. And he's a machinist, this guy. Shit, he's got a whole machine shop. And um, anyways, he told me, I mean, he told Mark, and Mark did nothing. That was years ago. Mark Sargent, the shill, okay? I knew he was a fraud anyways, when I first started listening to his videos, and I didn't get through all of them, and uh, I made my first flat video called Flat is Beautiful. This is an awesome compilation. Um, what do you call it? A collage of different videos, and it's classic. Anyways, I love it. Um, but the first version, you see, I got a little bit of Mark Sargent clips in it, just some sections. But I took that out right away 
almost right away after I made it, you'll see I uploaded another one. And uh, I kept the first one because it got, you know, thousands and thousands of hits, uh, over 20,000 anyways. And so I thought, I'm not going to take it down, I'm going to leave it. And I just edited out his shit because I didn't want to have nothing to do with that idiot. When I got, like I started, because that was the time I was watching his videos. And I get through and I got to one where he's going, oh yeah, well you know earth, uh, earthquakes and uh, volcanoes. He said volcanoes, you know, that it's conceivable that there could be a network of people underground who are doing that. Like literally that's what he said, that there's people underground with machinery and all this making volcanoes as soon as i said this guy's mental okay he's an idiot he's a fraud and how many people has he sucked in and that's the whole beauty of controlled opposition that's what they do they throw some truth out there to suck you in and then that's it and then they feed you the poison and so he's done uh, i never watch him i mean that was it that was the last time and i edited it right out so, yeah, that was uh, that's a true story. Um, what else? I'll think of more things. Ah. So, well, obviously I'm at the beach because you could hear the waves. You could probably see them too. Uh, we still have some pretty decent lighting, so I can keep talking. I might even get a chance to finish all this beer and you know maybe do a jog or even a swim i sometimes swim at this time of the year it's no problem if you're all warm and hot you can handle it some people can i don't know for me it doesn't bother me uh but yeah so that's it i mean the earth uh, is flat that's all what can you say and the sun that's the easiest debunk okay the path of the sun in the sky is not a curve game over right there Hey, how's it going? Good. You know about the flat earth? Yeah, right on. He gave me a thumbs up. But yeah, uh, a lot of people walk uh, this beach here. And so, you know, I'm not shy. I wear this everywhere. Someone tried to say, oh yeah, he just wears it on the videos. No, no, this is my second skin. I wear it everywhere. Even to church, I wear this, just the same. Because people have to wake up. That's all, they have to wake up. They're asleep. And it's dangerous to be asleep. You can't be asleep. I'm just going a bit side just to get better lighting. That's all. But um, yeah, this is it. You know, you have to realize truth in your life. So watch this. When I and I've been pointing that out today to to that crazy guy and that girl, the bot. And I I told them. I said, look, the sun. Um, it's a straight line. To noon and a straight line uh, down okay and that's can only be because it's like a jet plane it's flying over the plane it's just maintaining the same altitude obviously and how are they gonna get out of that <coughs> you can't okay you can't you're done okay don't be you know trying to tell me oh yeah but I don't understand that that's exactly what she's gonna say I know it and then the crazy guy, he's going to go, but, 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 but. You know, that, that's all he can do now, ever since he got destroyed with F over 2 pi. Destroyed. He's done. And he's still trying to push his fake bullshit math. Okay, I talk with machinists, engineers, a NASA employee engineer, and this idiot, this, this freaking crazy guy on YouTube, still doesn't get it, okay, because he's mental. Okay, he's in a straitjacket right now. Okay, he's just, he doesn't even type anymore. He just speaks into his device because they're afraid he's gonna kill himself, okay? That's what I think anyways, because most normal people, they, you know, who are sincere and they have an education, they take the conversation forward. That's the whole point of discussion, okay? We reached a point where he lost, okay? F over two pi, that's the deal breaker, my friends, okay? On the Team Globe side, you just go to flatearthclassroom.blogspot.com, you'll see it there. Got three pages. The first page is really simplified, and then intermediate, and then more advanced. And that's all you need. Just the first page, actually. And so what you're doing here on their side, what they say is, 
total centrifugal force exists in the spinning object. That's false. Um, total centrifugal force can be divided into increments. So this much of the surface is going to get a little bit of force and then more of the surface is going to get more force. It doesn't work like that. And three, all their mass depends on radius. That's the biggest one. Any one of those three, they're done. Okay, that's it. It does not work that way. It's only amount of centrifugal force that can exist in the object, the total amount is F over 2 pi, a fraction. So total centrifugal force is just like within the object, not the ball and string math that, you know, somebody standing on the surface or a ball on a string or a fairground ride or a car taking a corner. That's all ball and string math. And it all depends on radius. The centrifugal force within the object, it's not even a radial force, it's actually tangential. It's perpendicular, so you know if you cut the orange in half, you see those rays from the center to the peel, okay? That's actually not even there, because all that force gets absorbed by the peel, and it's a ripping force, okay? And it's in PSI, that it gets changed into that. So, and that doesn't depend on radius. And that's why they're done, okay? It's that simple, okay? There's no globe, people. Okay, it debunks itself. Lies can only be supported by lies. Okay, it's that simple. Okay, so all those rays, you know, I said if you cut the orange and you got those lines going to the peel, when you do that calculation of the, you know, each one is F over 2 pi. Each one, it's the same. Doesn't matter how many, you can have a million of those lines in there. It's all F over 2 pi, but it's not additive. Okay, but at any point, on the peel, it's going to be feeling F over 2 pi, and it will be resisting it this way. So this is really the only force that exists in the spinning object, is the tangential force. Okay, and that crazy guy, he doesn't get it! He doesn't get it! He's so crazy! And so anyways, that's okay. I, I, I let him. I, I accept all people. If he wants to be crazy like that, let him be crazy. I, I don't care. Let him be crazy. And... Uh, so yeah, it's quickly getting dark here, which is all right. Um, so, so yeah, it's F over 2 pi as a tangential force. Everywhere, at any given point, because you don't know where the breaking, the first break is going to occur. It could be here, it could be there, it could be there, but it's F over 2 pi everywhere, and that is fixed to the speed, okay? So whatever speed you're spinning, it's going to have a fixed F over 2 pi. It's not variable. So you could have a big radius, little radius, irrelevant. It's not even in the equation. It factors, it gets cancelled out. Okay, so it's a fixed speed. So for a thousand mile per hour spin, let's say you had a hoop that was three feet, another one that was 10 feet, you're gonna have the same F over two pi. Pretty simple. So that's why their globe is fake, because it depends on fake math, fake physics, fake forces to exist. It's not real, it's a fraud. Okay, no such thing as a ball. You don't live on a ball, okay? And if all this math stuff's too hard for you, if flat water is too mind-boggling of a concept for you, then you can always just look at the sun, okay? It's a straight line to noon, a straight line to set, done! Right there, okay, done. Okay, the ball is dead, and that's the end of the globe! <laughs>